here's how to add a printer to your iPhone. Now, if you wanted to print things directly from your iPhone onto a printer, I'm gonna show you how to add that printer and how to go through that process. The first and easiest thing is just open up, say a web page like google.com, doesn't matter what, but you need to start in somewhere basically that you're gonna fake print something. So let's hit that send button at the bottom center here. And you can see there is print. You might want to scroll down if you don't see it, but you can just tap on print here. Now, the key thing here is that the iPhone is really great at identifying printers, installing all of the drivers so that basically it can communicate and interact with that printer. And you don't need to really install it. It will automatically do everything on your iPhone basically without any work but there are a few different things that you need to make sure is you need to make sure your phone is on the Wi-Fi that's the same as that printer. So you need to make sure that printer is connected to Wi-Fi and your phone is connected to that very same Wi-Fi because they need to basically be able to communicate to each other and you need a Wi-Fi enabled printer. So make sure basically that printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. You might need to read the manual or whatever to connect it to your Wi-Fi. After you do that, at the very top, you can see I can tap on printer in here and it shows all of the printers that are currently on my network. You can see this just is the only one that's in the current network. And if you don't see a printer here, you know it's a Wi-Fi printer. Basically just go over back to the printer and maybe unplug it and wait a bit and then plug it back in. Make sure it's connected to that Wi-Fi. And then you can go back in here and check and see if that printer is there. But the easy thing is, is installing it or adding it is just finding it on this list and just tapping it and then it will do the rest. It'll say gathering printer information. It'll download whatever information it needs to be able to print on it. And then of course you can customize all of these things as you normally would and just hit print at the top right and it will print to that printer. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.